One of the greatest challenges faced by a designer is knowing in which design is better. We know that a braced frame is stronger, but how much stronger? What angle of bracing is best for our design requirements? SolidWorks Simulation has always given us a quick way of answering those questions, and in 2009 we've continued to make that easier to do and faster. So let's take a look at this frame in SolidWorks. The interface and workflow has been tailored to the everyday designer who necessarily perform validation on a regular basis and looks for assistance in how best to test their design. You'll find a new streamlined interface that is simpler to work with and far more intuitive. All the specialized simulation power and capabilities are still just a mouse click away from more advanced engineering challenges. SolidWorks Simulation walks you through the steps on how to test your design. An integral part of this is a simulation advisor. By answering some basic questions, it gives guidance on what to do for simulating your design and how it functions in the real world. In this instance, we're concerned with the deflection of our frame and are asked to identify what's important and if we have predefined criteria for an acceptable deflection. The simulation advisor automatically creates a sensor to monitor this. We just specify an acceptable range and once it's set, we automatically are notified any time the design does not meet this goal. There are several ways we can represent our design, and by default, SolidWorks Simulation provides the most efficient way. Our structure is made of weldments, which are long and slender. It will represent these as beams, automatically using the section properties of the geometry in the simulation. You're free to adjust the representation back to solids, but beams allow us to get insight into which design is better in a matter of seconds. This is a valuable tool in the fast-paced design world, where you need to quickly weed out designs that are not suitable. In the same way the simulation advisor helps set up the study, it guides the designer through how to set up the design for testing by adding fixtures, connectors and loads. You can see that the welded junctions of the frame are automatically detected and accounted for. Since this frame is welded to the floor, do we need to include the floor in the test or not? Since the floor is far stiffer than the frame, the advisor informs us that we can represent this as a fixture. We also have to do all we have to do then is identify the points where the frame is restrained. Similarly, with the loading, the advisor guides us through the decision on if we need to include the bench top applying the load to the frame. In this instance, the bench top is far more flexible and we're advised to just represent it as an applied force. The advisor automatically generated the load condition. All we have to do is specify the amount and the direction. Here we are selecting the weldments the load is applied to and the amount of load on each weldment. As we mentioned, it only takes a couple of seconds to get the answer and gain insight into the suitability of our design. SolidWorks Simulation provides automatic results such as stress, deflection and factor of safety to help us gain insight into what's happening in the structure. You'll notice also that the sensor is updated to show the maximum deflection of the frame, which is still below our limit. We can compare this result to that of the other brace configurations, and it becomes obvious which frame is better. SolidWorks Simulation 2009 gives us the ability to everyday designers to test the designs quickly and accurately, and in doing so, lets them design better products faster.